Thank you, Jim. Um, before I start, I just want to pay a special tribute to Jimmy Deenan for coming up here tonight. Um, I suppose when you want to get something done, you ask a busy man. I have, uh, I think, played against uh, Jimmy in 1973. Um, in the Lord Ireland between one final down in Ennis. I'm not sure whether there's any of the rest of Mayo team here tonight. But on that occasion, Jimmy, and I suppose very few would have known maybe the destiny of certain people on that team. I was keeping an eye on Martin Ferris uh, in the corner, but while I was, while I was doing that, Jimmy Deenan was doing damage to Mayo uh, from, from, from cornerback on the other side. But uh, could I, on a serious note, really thank him for being my advisor and my helper, and I worked closely with him in the sportsmanship for trade, tourism and arts, and uh, he is, we have soldiered together in developing a sports policy and many other things, and I thank him for um, his advice. Uh, along the way, and I hope that I will have the opportunity to get that advice if you and the people of Mayo put your uh, trust in me uh, in the coming five years. Now, could I say, MEP Jim Higgins, Deputy Michael Ring, Councillor Mulhern, all of the councillors, and particularly all of you, could I just say, all of the people that have come here tonight, from far and wide, from within Fine Gael and without Fine Gael, from within Mayo and from without of Mayo. I suppose when I look around the room, I'm humbled really, because over the years, I have soldiered in classrooms, in political halls, in <coughs> football pitches, and in many other areas of my life. And the one thing that I have got from all of you here is huge loyalty and respect. And I just want to say tonight to you, from uh, there's a, a big gap in ages of the people that have come here tonight. My own uh, granddaughter is here, uh, I think she's, I don't know, is it six weeks and counting, uh, and she's, she's very welcome. But I just want to illustrate that by saying, and to welcome, some of our veterans of Fine Gael here, and I was delighted to meet uh, Frank and John Conboy from Knock. Uh, I think that they're in, they're in, I suppose, the recycled teenagers. Because since I got involved a number of years ago, every time I meet them, I inspire them. And I just say to the Conboys and Ava and everybody in between, uh, thank you for coming here tonight. I You were here with me when I first joined the Mayo Fine Gael team. You were with me along with your families, friends, acquaintances and neighbours at the ballot box on, in that election. I have worked for you on your behalf along with my colleagues, Deputy Michael Ring and Linda Kenny, to the best of my ability. My office is here in Clamaris as the centre of, of, of my area. And I'd like to pay a personal tribute to all of the councillors in this area that I work with over those number of years. Because I suppose the main message for Fine Gael in this election in particular is Team Fine Gael. And John Cribben, Tom Connolly here who's into my office every morning, noon and night. Uh, with, we help each other. If there's a national issue, they come to me. Patsy O'Brien. Michael Burke, uh, Joe Mellet, Eugene Lavin, and many others. If there's a national issue, you come to me, and I do the best for you. If there's a local issue, I go to you, and you do the best for me. But we are all doing the best for the people, the people that we represent. I would like to thank, especially, my staff, and Connor is the main, Connor Presham is the main man, the heartbeat of that office over those four years. And I, I'd like to thank many of you. And also 
Larisha is here tonight, is with us in recent times. Maria Gorman, uh, Larisha Lewis, Maria Gorman, Emma Walton, and many people who have come into the office and worked for during work experience from the local schools and from transition year and so on. And, 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 and I suppose in a way that inspires me as well. Because what it shows is that many of many young people have come and said, can I come in for a week to see what politics is like for the cold face? And I hope and wish because we are the representatives, we are your representatives, and I'm addressing myself especially to the young people of Mayo. We are your representatives now, but you are the future of this county, and I would urge you to have your say and have your vote in the forthcoming elections. Because the big danger for all of us now, are for, for people that are hurt and annoyed and disappointed and are really hurting is to say, well, it doesn't matter what we do. I have no interest, we won't vote. Fine Gael are looking for the trust of, 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 of you in the coming election and in the coming years. And I would urge everybody to have their say. And people who say to me, well, I wouldn't necessarily vote for Fine Gael, well, I respect that too. I respect that too. Now, what I would say is, you are all back here again tonight, four years on, and I was overwhelmed when I came into the, into, into the room here tonight to see so many people, so many faces, not just from overall this county, but from overall this country. People that I have, as I said, that I have worked with. I, and we have, and I'd like to give a special welcome here tonight to the Leitrim Person of the Year, uh, Brendan Harvey, who has very good connections down in Roby in JJ Trenches, and he's, he, he's very welcome. And he, he marks out all the borders down there in Roby to make sure that nobody crosses them at any stage. <laughs> I welcome my friends, uh, and I'm not going to go through a whole list of names, but McKay, Pat Flanagan, and many, many others from far and wide inside, as I said, and outside this, this county. And I am asking you, I am asking you people that have votes in this area, in this area, to put your trust in me once again. And I suppose, I mentioned the word team. There is a huge opportunity for the people of Mayo. There's a general election being fought and we watch and look at the opinion polls every morning and hear them. But there's a, there's a general election being fought in Mayo as well. And it's important that we don't take any vote by, for granted. But I would urge people to, there's a unique opportunity that has never come in any other constituency, at any other time in the foundation of, the, of this state, to elect four TDs, including a Taoiseach, for the country.